Hello, James. Long time no see. Today we're making kimchi in the RV. First time I've ever made kimchi. Don't know how it's going to be. So I chopped up a bunch of Napa cabbage and I'm rinsing it off in the fold up colander and I'm putting it over here and putting salt on it. So here's the uh, Napa cabbage and the salt stuff all mixed up together. 30 minutes I will mush it up again, uh, massage it, and I'll do that three more times and then rinse it off. Chimki paste. It's got ginger in there and some fish sauce and soy sauce. Now I'm chopping up the garlic. It's time to squash the stuff. So let's put this over here where you can see a little bit and squash the stuff. You know? Ooh, it's getting all mushy and weird now. And smaller. <laughs> I think that's what it's supposed to do, right? That's the idea. Wow. And juice is coming out. Moisture's coming out of it. I mean, there's water in the bottom of the thing. And the volume has gone down dramatically. So we smush that up and we'll do that again in a little while. 30 minutes. I'm gonna make me a little uh, strange coffee beverage. I'm gonna call it an angry Russian, I don't know. A little vodka, a little coffee, and some good karma. We always need some good karma. Pea milk. Try to ignore my single use plastic cup there, guys. I really use them more than one time because I hate to keep buying them. I like to say it's because I'm environmentally aware, but mostly it's because I get tired of buying them. I do have regular cups I use, not single use cups, but I don't have any glasses. I need to buy some big plastic cups, is what I need to buy. Rewashable ones. Garlic escapee. Rinse that sucker off. There we go. Chopping up the garlic. I've had this cutting board longer than my children have been alive. Blind students at the Alabama Institute for Deaf and Blind made this for me for Christmas one year. It was most amazing. And Linwood was their teacher. He was a great guy. Okay, so now I'm going to put this stuff, chopped up garlic, in here with the rest of the paste materials. to meld together. The taste will have to meld together. There we go. You can see in there what it's turning out to be, slowly but surely. Potent stuff, I do believe, I do believe. Somewhere over here, I have some red pepper flakes, which are going to join this mixture. Generic brand. I don't know how many is enough, so that's how many I'm going to put. We'll start all the way up. That is going to be some powerful crap, man. And we'll set it over here out of the way on the table. I'm going to peel these carrots. Carrots. I dip carrot sticks in my hummus for a snack in the evenings.
Don't make my own hummus though. Whoa. made my own hummus, but it's a lot of work. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Try this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe. I don't know. Yep, that worked out. Kind of creepy, but it's weird. See? Next thing I'm going to chop up is the scallions, the green onions. I have a garbage bowl, I have a garbage bag. Alrighty then. I'm going to cut off the little ends down here. I'm going to find the uh, nasty ones and peel them off. You know how that goes. There's always the nasty ones like that one. Kind of slimy already. There's another one. There's one. Then I gotta cut off the other ends, you know. These ends down here, which are always kind of weird. Then I'm gonna trim these up like this, you know. Put them in there with the carrots. That one's kind of okay already. And I'm just going to keep doing this till all those are done. Since I couldn't get the uh, reddish that this called for, Darkon or some such thing, I'm going to use plain old American red radishes. I cook these too with root vegetables like uh, turnips and rutabagas. They're really good. Throw them in there so I can wash them off. Oh, not that piece. Y'all need to wash it if you're going to throw it away, right? Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. All right. What? Rinse them off. Oh, cabbage. Jeweling these like I did the carrots, except I'm not going to use the thing. Cut them up just like this. Little thin slices. Alright, all the other vegetables are chopped up. I'll massage this one more time. This is the last time, because the next time I massage it, the next time I'm going to dump it out, it'll be two hours, rinse it off, and we'll start putting the stuff together. The, it's really a lot smaller than it was when I started, a lot less volume of Napa cabbage in here. Clean up a little bit. I kind of clean it as I go because you know, in a motorhome you don't have a lot of space, so you have to kind of keep up or your stuff runs you out. 
So there's the cabbage, all smushed up. Uh, fixing to put it over here into the colander so I can get all the salt off of it. If it's too salty, they say, when the kimchi is, when you're eating kimchi, it's because you didn't rinse it enough at this step. So we'll see. Well, I have rinsed a lot. And we'll let it dry in a few minutes. Uh, well that, so it's all this water, it may have a chance of water to leak out, eh? It's all rinsed off. Now I'm going to mix in the other ingredients. Put some in the refrigerator, the julienned uh, carrots and radishes and green onions. There you go. Dump these right in here, just like that. All right, here's the kimchi paste. I'm going to dump that right in there. Thusly. Tell you what, man, this is really scary looking stuff. That's all I gotta say. Lots of garlic, lots of ginger, red peppers, <laughs> big sauce, soy sauce. It's a thing. <laughs> My best advice says not to stir this stuff up with your bare hands without wearing gloves. And I just happen to have these handy dandy purple gloves. Just for occasions like this. Well, you think that will work? <laughs> oh yeah, this is much better except this little pinky finger. Little pinky finger's gone nuts. There we go. All right, let's see what we got now. All right, here we go, mush it up. Mush, mush, mix, mix. So now the idea is to put it into a jar. And I happen to have a handy dandy jar right here. Now this jar doesn't seal 100%. It seals pretty good. I got this jar because apparently sealing is not the best, not the not the plan here. The plan here is to uh, let the na na let the natural fermentation bacteria of the world just jump right in here. So we'll see, huh? Hope I don't kill myself. <laughs> People have been doing this for thousands of years. But then again, there's a first time for everything. Jar is getting kind of full. I'm supposed to pack it down. So I'll have to look around, see what I've got to pack with. But it's not, you know, you know my world, eh? packing down is not something I had planned for on a regular basis. So we will try to use the butt of a knife. Yeah, that works pretty good. Down to the last little bits. So, one nap of cabbage and the amount of things I put in here appears to make about this size jar, which I think is a half a gallon actually, of stuff. A little more scrape out the scrapings. Well, I actually could probably pack with my hand now that I think about it, don't you think? I mean, that's why I got this jar, because the lid was big. The opening was large. I mean, so I'm packing it down. It says to pack it down in the hopes that the liquid in there will cover it. Well, I don't think that's going to happen, but it might. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen, but we are packing.
packing, packing, packing. My hand works pretty good. I'm glad I got this big mouth jar. It looks like about it for the time being. It's pretty. So there you have it. A jar of chim kimchi sitting around for two or three days waiting to get bubbly and firm any. There's the kimchi at the end of the first day. Kimchi. Day two. There's bubbles in there. If you look closely, the macro lens bubbles. Bubbles. Day three, RV, kimchi, for me, kimchi, day four, it's a lot browner today, might be done. It's all right, James.